Now, your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Matt Satilli, and here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. East Longmeadow is the latest town in Western Mass to implement a mask mandate in public indoor settings. The town's Board of Health voted in favor of this change, citing a recent surge in COVID-19 cases locally. And Northampton is updating their mask mandate. The city will require people to mask up in certain outdoor settings where social distancing is impossible, regardless of vaccination status. This includes team benches for outdoor sports and restaurant employees serving customers outside. Speaking of mask mandates, masks are required in all indoor places, regardless of vaccination status in Boston. Last night, the Eagles were in town performing at TD Garden in front of a packed crowd of masked up fans. The mask mandate went into effect in the city at 8 a.m. on Friday. Now, there are some exceptions, including places of worship and private offices. Mask mandates in Newton and Cambridge will take effect starting next week. Residents in Ware gathered today at Grenville Park to show their support for a young man with autism who was badly beaten earlier this summer in the park. Residents met to talk about ways to make their town a safer place and how the community will feel the lasting effects of today's event. Now, Shiloh Scarrett was the victim, and his father tells Western Mass News that his son has type 1 diabetes, and getting him back into the park was extremely important for him to continue exercising and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. I'm first warning, meteorologist Don Maher going to hang on to the clouds as we head on into tonight, maybe even deal with a light shower or two. Now, it has been a cool day today. We're warmer and we're more humid tomorrow. Temperatures near 80 tomorrow, two points climbing back through the 60s. And as we head on into Monday, we're warm and humid once again, but we're going to have to watch some afternoon showers and thunderstorms as a cold front approaches. And some of those storms Monday afternoon could be on the stronger side. But for tomorrow, near 80 degrees, there will be a spot shower here and there, but I think a lot of us tomorrow are going to remain dry. And then Monday, sunshine and clouds, the front coming through in the afternoon with some showers and thunderstorms. We will dry things out on Tuesday. The dew points are gradually going to fall on Tuesday as well as they drop back down through the 60s and then we'll see some more refreshing air begin to move in but we're also going to watch for the chance for some showers as we head towards the mid part of the week on Wednesday. After that though looks like we're dry and more comfortable heading towards the end of the week and into next weekend. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather and exclusive content.